I'm gonna do What a young fella do Just sit back with my bong Making dumb yellow, dumb yellow, dumb yellow mood Ready for the ride Dabs all night up I'm Sam LaChow, I'm from Seattle, Washington I'm a hip-hop artist, a producer, a video director It's another marijuana song, huh? Huh? So pull the reefer out First memories of music, my dad playing uh, old folk music, a lot of um, Neil Young, Bob Dylan, and then I got really into worse music, like Smash Mouth <laughs> and Shaggy, and then I got into like Eminem and Outkast, and then it was all rap from there. I like having a lot of variety on my albums, so you know, I'll have some funky tracks, you know, I'll have some sort of more raw hip-hop sounding tracks. I try to feature a wide variety of people, have different voices, people from different backgrounds, all coming together to make one sound, you know, that's what I'm interested in. Now I can't tell the difference between the dog and the human. And excuse me now for acting ridiculous. I'm nocturnal, walked out for Dracula's bitch. Is it just me or is that cat large? Why we bumping fast car? Can't think of, you know, the words. Fuck it! My fans know my whole catalog. And at the shows, you know, even if there's 10 people at a show in some city I've never been to, they pretty much know all the words to every song. It's almost a cult following type of thing, you know. It always surprises me. How we doing, New York? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember him, yeah. I remember hearing about him. Rolling around the hill and half the time being fucked up. And... But getting it done. When I listen to some of my old music, it's, it's a little weird for me because I wrote it all during a time when we were all partying nonstop. That was just the lifestyle. So it kind of felt like I was glorifying drug use and glorifying this lifestyle that was really unsustainable, really unhealthy. But it did shape me into who I was. I can't take any of it back. We basically throw a party, but sort of just invite musicians and rappers and shit. And we'd just be working on shit, you know, in one room while people are partying in the other room. And then people would go to sleep at like one or two or something and we'd go in the living room, look on the couches that everyone passed out and be like, who plays, one of these guys plays bass, we need a bass line. <laughs> and we'd like, you know, go, someone would go up to him with like a spoon of cocaine or something and just and be like, yo, wake him up and get up and come and just you know, <laughs> lay down the bass line. And it, it, like some really good shit came out of that. You know, even if you're up three days working, that leads to three days of recovery of just being in bed, depressed, you know, not wanting to do anything. So then I ended up kind of having to take some time off and I let some fans down and they kind of didn't know where I went. And that's why I made Play Pretend. That was the first project I made with no other features. I wanted to just tell them kind of what I've been dealing with, what I've been going through, why I haven't been making music. I was pretty scared to put it out, um, but the response was much different than I expected. People really relate to vulnerability, you know. Everyone's got their insecurities and you gotta remember that. What I'm really excited about, we just put out motels and minivans. It's a, a five track EP. We've made the whole thing in motel rooms on my 59 city tour. Every track is sort of about touring and you know, rap life in general. And it's a little more fun, goofy music compared to my last Play Pretend EP. The last year I've been feeling way better, uh, getting way healthier. My relationships with, you know, my friends and family have all gotten way better. Everything kind of changes for the better when you stop doing a whole bunch of drugs. For the first time in my life that I can remember, I'm actually looking forward to whatever the hell is going to come next, you know.